Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. I'm the coach, and this is Madden Ultimate Team. Let's send it down to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis for the call. Thank you, Coach. We jump into this challenge in the third quarter with four minutes to go. We're still without a score, tied at zero. You've got the ball on your own 40. As we get set here, first and 10. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Sean Phillips leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. And he's going to go down again. Jerry Tillery, he's the one that drops him this go around. And that pass rush getting strong here, back-to-back -back sacks. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Gonzalez. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. And that's complete. It's green here. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the 1. 36 yards on the play. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game. And for a second... I thought they had it right there. Now looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval. There's a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. Flush to his right. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill there to make the grab as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? Wonder if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. This fielded at the two. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Well, they're still looking for that first touchdown here. There goes Melvin Gordon. The 20. Touchdown. Two yards as his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. So a big time scamper there to cap a touchdown on the opening drive. Sets a tone, establishes not what you call a dominance, but a really good feeling for the team that just scored. But I've got to ask you, partner, what do the analytics say about that type of a run? Does it establish anything else for him? <laughs> this is taken at his four. That strong return has set them up nicely for this drive, and we all know the next score is going to have a major impact on this game. Out comes this. Field general once more leading his offense back onto the field. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't, not until you balance it with the error side. You know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. That's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Green brings it in. 
And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Congratulations on yet another victory. Now you can go right to the next challenge if there's another one available or return to challenges to receive your reward. And the Ultimates, their offense gets ready. First down and 10. Murray now on first down. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on. Second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be corralled out across midfield, down to the 45. 15 yards on the play, first down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. Defense. Hey folks, it's the coach here. Welcome back for another exciting matchup in Madden Ultimate Team. Now let's hand it off to Brandon and Charles as we jump straight into the action. Thank you, coach. We jump into this challenge in the third quarter with four minutes to go. Still no points on the board. It's 0-0. You've got the ball on your own 40, and it's first and 10. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Throwing now is Murray. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. We do see this a lot from rookie quarterbacks, don't we? They kind of lock in on their intended target. A lot of times they establish that buddy, that guy they depend on. And boy, defense is zero in on it, A little bit too telegraphed that time, and that's why it's knocked away. That is first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Over the middle complete. It's Gonzalez. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. 
Where are you going to throw? Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. He is going to find Hill here. And down inside the 15 he goes. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Throwing again, Murray. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Tyreek Hill there to make the grab. And the Broncos take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. First and goal, forget running the football, forget establishing anything. Just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown. Oh, yeah, I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard there. They weren't expecting that. And that totally goes against type, doesn't it? When you think first and goal from the one, you're thinking running play. And here's been a Terry now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that's going to make it third down and 10. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Oh, Prescott stripped. It's picked up by the Broncos. And this is going to be brought back for a Denver touchdown. Not quite enough that time. Maybe just try a lower star difficulty if you can. And the Broncos getting ready to go on first and 10. First and 10, Murray, and going deep for Hill. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And it's second down. So second down and 10, once again, they'll go from the 40. Murray looks to throw again, second and 10. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And at the seven yard line, the catch is made. A huge play there for Denver, 56 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that... And that is caught! Touchdown, Denver! A.J. Green, there to make the grab, as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits, and these creases like they were able to exploit right there. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. 
picked off by Champ Bailey. And Pick they will set back. up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. After the turnover, here's Murray. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And finally marked down at the 23. Solid gain of 18 yards and a Denver first down. On first down, Murray. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. And just like that, another ultimate challenge has been defeated. Savor the victory, if only for a moment, because you know there's always another challenge right around the corner.